<laughs> Hi everyone, just the Cry Crytano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Shoe Shoe album, Oh No. This is a new LP from long-running experimental rock and art pop outfit, Shoe Shoe. After years of coverage, I would hope you guys are no stranger to a Shoe Shoe review at this point, especially after such mind-blowingly abrasive statements like Girl with Basket of Fruit, which Oh No is essentially a follow-up to, but don't expect to be terrorized beyond belief this time around, because Oh No sees core members Jamie and Angela in good company, in a series of collaborations and duets inspired by the spirit of friendship. And I'm being totally serious, after an emotional episode sparked by some betrayal in the last year, Jamie took to Instagram, sort of went public with what he was going through at that time, as a result friends and artists he hadn't connected with in years reached out, and that was essentially the seed for this collaboration packed project. So we have 15 tracks on Oh No, each one with a different guest, all of them coming from a variety of backgrounds in the musical underground. You've got Ambient Alchemist Liz Harris, aka Grouper, Goth Queen Chelsea Wolfe, singer-songwriter Sharon Van Etten, Liars Greg Sonje of Deerhoof fame, as well as indie rocker Shearwater, to name a few more. And while I did like this record, the wide variety of guest singers here does make it a difficult one to sum up. Each track feels like it's on its own journey, and those journeys can vary in terms of length, emotional intensity, genre, songwriting style. I imagine for new listeners, it could be difficult to get a grasp of what exactly defines Shoo Shoo as a band, outside of maybe Jamie's very unique voice. Even longtime fans may struggle to find something constant to hold on to for the duration of this LP. Regardless, I do think Oh No is a project that's packed with highlights and occasionally the assuring warmth of companionship, which can be pretty rewarding if you see its choppy waters through. The opening track I saw as a very passionate and enveloping ballad all around. The fact that there is a Sharon Van Etten feature on it is really just the cherry on top. We have hushed, bare, intimate verses that are contrasted nicely with bold, loud, droning choruses that sound very discordant and heavy. It's just got that shoo-shoo twist. Lyrically, the track reinforces those themes of friendship pretty nicely, too. Meanwhile, the lyrics of I Cannot Resist seem to explore the temptations of a doomed love. The vocal contributions from Drab Majesty give the track almost a religious cult-type quality. The Grifters features singing from Haley Four of Circuit de Yu fame. The tone of the track is almost operatic thanks to Haley's peculiar approach. Beyond that, the tense guitars, marching snares, and heavy synths propel everything quite nicely. It's beautiful and strange. Oddly enough, I found the title track to be one of the most feel-good moments here. Maybe not the best example of cohesion coherent songwriting on the record, but it still came off blissful between the awkwardly cute synth lead, shimmering acoustics, and cathartic tornado of noise on the back end. Rumpus Room with Liars is almost like a bit of fun in the middle of the LP. Some fans may liken it to the more abrasive and rhythmic passages of Girl with Basket of Fruit. Take that vibe, but instead add more danceable grooves, absurdly mental lyrics. If there was ever a shoo shoo track looking to get loose, it's the this one. Fuzz Gong Fight is an interesting moment on the LP because it sees Jamie going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Angela, who's been a member of Shoo Shoo for like a decade now. She's not always on Shoo Shoo tracks vocally, but obviously she's always in the mix creatively. And here, her and Jamie essentially create their own ominous oasis in the middle of the record, with heavy ghoulish choruses that Jamie is just howling through, contrasted with these intimate passages of spoken word from Angela. 100 Years with Chelsea Wolfe is a massive, heavy, drum machine-backed goth epic with twisted guitars, throbbing synths, and erratic lead vocals that call back to Shoo Shoo's early years. Simultaneously, it plugs into the electronic-driven aesthetics of Chelsea Wolfe's fantastic Pain is Beauty record, too. This track is just a crushing six minutes, and it's incredible. It Bothers Me All the Time with Shearwater certainly stands out as one of the most instrumentally lush moments on the LP. Between Jamie's hushed lead vocals and the droning bass and strings, much of the time this one is pretty serene. That is until we're hit with a few unsettling, wailing walls of noise and
and the sense of dread uh, becomes uh, very clear in the lyrics. Saint Dymphna featuring Twin Shadow is probably top three for me as far as vocal chemistry goes. The passionate harmonies on the chorus here are wow. Additionally, I feel like this track is one of the catchiest Shoo Shoo songs I've heard since Forget. A Bottle of Rum with Liz Harris goes in a surprisingly accessible direction too, which again, given her experimental and ambient tendencies, I didn't necessarily expect when I first heard the song as a teaser. But still, this track manages to be a driving indie folk rock ballad with tons of reverb and head nodding drums and guitars. Now, after stating all the praise that I obviously have for this record, I do have my reservations with some tracks and the fact that on the whole it's just not a very cohesive project. Vocally, I really heard little to no liftoff on the track featuring Greg from Deerhoof. I felt a similar stiffness on the one featuring Owen Pallet as well, though the ending there was pretty climactic. The unorthodox structure of a classic screw, as bold as that track is, makes it really stick out like a sore thumb and not in the best way. And then I suppose there are a few moments on the record like Knockout, for example, which songwriting-wise don't really seem totally sure as to how to tie things up. Still, I did enjoy Oh No quite a bit. I think the vast majority of the songs here are quite good. The collaboration-based concept is pretty cool and obviously fits in with the long line of challenging, adventurous, and again, conceptual projects that Shushu has been dropping consistently in this most recent act of the band's career. Feeling a decent two strong seven on this one? Tran? Zishin, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Shushu, forever.